Hi guys, it's Tim from Launch Presso Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up portfolio bid strategies and also explain why you would wanna use them. So what are portfolio bid strategies? Primarily they're AI powered, goal-driven bid strategies that help optimize bids across multiple campaigns. For example, you may have performance max search campaigns and or shopping campaigns that will be sending traffic to very similar products and you're wanting to get a particular return on ad spend or a cost per acquisition that is unified across a majority of products or a single product or service. They can also be convenient if you wanna make a quick change to the settings when you make adjustments on the goals that you want for that particular bidding strategy, as opposed to going through each individual campaign and making those adjustments. So they can be super convenient. So what type of bid strategies can be used inside of a portfolio bid strategy? Here's target CPA, target ROAS, maximize clicks, maximize conversion value, maximize conversions, and target impression share. And before I take you over to my screen, if you're needing any help with any issues, optimizations, or if you just want to squeeze more out of your Google Ads account, reach out to us in the link in the description down below or in the first comment, and I'll be happy to reach out to you and see how we can help. And with that said, let me take you out of my screen now. And here we are again back in my test Google Ads account from my test Shopify store, cheapcampinggear.net. First place you need to come to set up a portfolio bid strategy is come under tools and come down under budgets and bidding. Click the drop down and come under bid strategies. And once we've selected that, we can see here we have portfolio bid strategies selected, account strategies I'll cover on another video. First thing we need to do is click the blue plus button for a new portfolio bid strategy. And then we have our options of the different types of bid strategies you wanna pick from. So in my example today, I'm gonna to stick with target rowers because my Shopify store focuses on sales and I want a particular return on ad spend. I will select this option. However, if I do have time in this video, I will go through each individual one of these and show you how to set them up. But let's start with target ROAS. So we select that. Now it's important to give your portfolio bidding strategy a decent, clear name, particularly if you have a team. So everyone knows that just by looking at the strategy, what goal or outcome you're looking for. So for example, I'll be looking for a 300% ROAS for product X, for example. And next we can see the campaigns that we can pick from it. And it also shows the bidding strategies that are currently running under those campaigns. So in my example today, I'm going to select shopping campaign and the test one campaign and select done. And we'll add in here 300%. Now inside these portfolio bidding strategies, we can also create a shared budget, which can be used with the portfolio bid strategy. It will link these together, as you can see here, as we hover over the question mark. And this is an excellent way to keep their budgets contained across multiple campaigns, as well as an outcome that you're looking for with your goals in your bid strategy. Excellent option. So for example, here, I might give that $10 a day. Now under advanced options, this is a great feature if you wanted to keep control of certain bid strategies where the CPC can get out of control. And I've covered that in a previous video on how to be careful of the bidding strategy maximum conversions because left unchecked, the machine learning can get out of control, bid on keywords at, that may be very expensive, at which you receive clicks on and could completely blow up your budget or your client's budget if you run Google Ads accounts for clients. So you get a minimum bid and a maximum bid and also take a note, if there's any notes under these limits, they do mention like the bid limits will not be used in display only campaigns, but, but to clear the minimum bid, leave it blank. And same with this as well. But for demonstrations today, I'm just gonna say, I don't care about a minimum bid. You can, if you want one, for example, you may not want your ads to show for cheap keywords. I don't know why you would wanna do that because you never know you might get a conversion from a cheap click. But sometimes, if not all the time, you do wanna put a max bid in, in place just in case. I'm gonna put in $5 because I don't wanna spend any more than $5 per click. Because the particular campaigns that I may be assigning these portfolio bid strategies to may be a lower ticket item, or you just may not wanna spend that much on clicks in general. You may limit your search impression share, but that's something you need to monitor over time to see if you're missing out showing your ads to the absolute maximum that you possibly can. So we we'll select that. And then once you've added in your maximum bid limit, click save. Now I did have an error pop up and I think that may have come from the fact that it couldn't add in the display campaign for whatever reason. So if I come into this bidding strategy again, if I click inside it and come down to settings, click add and remove campaigns. So we just have our test search campaign. So yes, it did kick me out as I suspected. So I'll just add the shopping one in to see if that allows that to be added. I think from that reason, what I was mentioning before about minimum maximum bids with display campaigns is the reason why they didn't allow it to be added. So we'll just select this one and click done and apply. And it says it'll take a few minutes for that to load. And once we've done that as well, click save again. Okay, so for some reason, I was still having troubles combining search and shopping campaigns together. 
likely some more investigation needs to go on as to the reason why you can't maybe can't combine those particular campaign types together. So I've just gone ahead and combined it with another search campaign just for demonstration purposes. And to confirm that it has been added, if we come to campaigns on the left hand side, again, click the campaigns drop down and click campaigns. And once you're in the area, you can see here under budget, we can see that the bidding strategy has been added under the budget area. You can hover over that here and see more details about what it's trying to achieve when it was added and what the shared budget was. And again, here under that search campaign. And we can also see under bid strategy, we can see it has target ROAS as well as here target ROAS. Okay, so coming back to bid strategies again, and let's see how quickly we can move through the other bid strategy types. Let's click the blue plus button. Let's start with target CPA, it's $30. On this occasion, I won't do a shared budget and advanced options. We want to have a maximum upper limit of $3 per click. And let's not forget to add particular campaigns. Again, I'm going to test to see if I can make these two campaigns combined together with a maximized clicks portfolio bid strategy. Let's click done and click save. And as we're removing one of those campaigns from a portfolio strategy with a shared budget, let's just give it a budget of $10 and click apply. Confirm. Okay, so I received an error again and I click view error and it's taking me across to the bulk actions area, all bulk actions, and it's just stated that I've had an error. It doesn't give me a reason why, it just says errors. And even if I check the change history here, there's no reason for the change, it just says it can't be undone. And it says that the test campaign could not be added to using um, a combined strategy. So it may be the case, and like I said, I'm gonna have to deep dive on this a bit more to find out if we can combine different campaign types for a portfolio bid strategy and shared budget. Anyway, with that said, let's carry on to see what these other portfolio bid strategies look like. So we'll come down under budgets and bidding again, come to bid strategies, and we'll click the blue plus button again. We'll do maximize clicks this time. So we'll say max clicks at max bid $2. Let's set a maximum cost per click bid limit of $2, as I've just mentioned in my naming convention here unselect the shared budget in this example and select the campaigns. Let's select all three search campaigns and see what happens. Click done, click save. Again, we're removing one campaign from a shared budget. So we'll just give it $10 average daily budget and click apply, confirm. Okay. And this occasion, the campaigns are successfully added to the portfolio bid strategy and all three are in there. So it kind of confirms that you can only group all the different same types of campaigns in a portfolio bid strategy. And again, here we can see over on budget, we do have a varied budget, and that means um, we're not using a shared budget, which we could have created inside that portfolio bid strategy as well. All right, okay, let's carry on. Click the blue plus button, come down to maximize conversions, just call it max conversions. As typically in a standard max conversions bid strategy, we do have the option to add in a target CPA or not. You just let the machine learning go. Personally, I'm never a big fan of that. Uh, it may or may not work. I always like to add one in and give it a price target of, and I would say $20 on this example. Let's not forget to our campaigns, select all the search as well. Interesting to see that it's dropped off all the different types of campaigns you can pick depending on the, the portfolio bid strategy you're wanting to use. No display campaigns are being used there at all. So select done. We'll keep the shared budget at $30 today. Advanced options. And we can see here, we've got the minimum and maximum bid limits, should we want to choose them, which you do not get in a standalone bid strategy within a single campaign. As I mentioned in my previous video, it may be better to use a portfolio bidding strategy if you're wanting to keep the cost capped first, particularly for the average CPC, particularly for the cost per click that you want to pay for. So I want to put $3 here. So 333 three, all the way through this campaign, this portfolio bid strategy, and we'll click save. And can we see here under max conversions, here we do have those three, three campaigns. Now it'd be best to update that to say the maximized conversion, the T CPA war is $20 with max CPC of $3. We'll just save that. Okay. Let's keep carrying on. We've got maximum conversion value, max conversion value, select our campaigns. Let's select shopping on this occasion, select done 300%. No shared budget is necessary for this one because it's a single campaign. You can always add it in if you want, because you may want to add more campaigns to this portfolio bid strategy that could be using a shared budget. Vast options. Again, we've got maximum bid limit here, which is really interesting for this particular bid strategy 
within a portfolio because then you've got way more control. However, read the small print says bid limits will not be used when target rowers is not set or in a display only campaign. That's really interesting. So bear that in mind anytime you're using display only campaigns in the future, but I'm just going to set a bid of $3 here. You can probably go as low as a dollar for This is mostly for a shopping campaign, depending on the product. Obviously you have to take that in consideration, but we'll save that. And last but not least, target impression share. I usually use these for TIS for short, and I'll state 100%. What does that mean? If you don't know much about target impression share, it's essentially how often you want to be shown anywhere specific on a results page. So for these type of strategies, I'll be using them a lot for brand. I want to be showing 100% of the time at the top, over the top of my competitors. So I will select that as done. And then we can see here the different options in terms of that ad location, anywhere on the results page, anywhere on the top of the results page and absolute top of the results page. For brand, you would, in this situation, I would be picking that and the percentage I would be going for at least 98%. It's almost impossible to get hundred percent. You could be pushing for it or not. And again, if you're wanting to do this for your brand, you may or may not want to put a limit on this. Usually for your brand, your, your clicks typically are cheap in the majority of cases. So just something to bear in mind, but you may want to put like a $10 bid limit on that, should you wish. And you can always name that here as well. So you can say, set hundred percent, we'll say 98% with $10 CPC. There we won't be creating a shared budget there today. Click save as this campaign has been pulled out from a portfolio bid strategy with a shared budget and it's going to get its own. We'll give it a $10 average daily budget for an example. Click apply, confirm. Okay. And that was successful. One more thing to also note is that portfolio bidding strategies can be created inside the campaign settings itself. So if you were to come into a campaign, for example, like this one, so you click the drop down under bidding. From here, you can use an existing portfolio strategy or you can create a new portfolio strategy, give it a name, state what outcome you're looking for. But if you click the use, use existing portfolio strategy, you see here, a few of them will load up, which you can select. Whether you're using existing one or create a new one, select which one you want. It may ask for a budget of what you want to spend across to these campaigns. Add, it, add that in should you need to. Otherwise, the previous budget selections will not apply. And if you do select this one here, the budget for this campaign will be managed by a portfolio strategy using a shared budget, as I showed earlier, and the previous budget selections will no longer be applied. So state the budget that you want to use per day on that one, and then click save. Now, in some cases that you may not be using a, a shared budget, you might be just using the portfolio bid strategy and that option won't appear. It will be stated on the previous budget that you set in the campaign. And that's essentially how you create portfolio bid strategies in Google Ads for all the different bid strategy types. And if you found value in today's video, feel free to stay up to date by following along on this channel. That will be much appreciated. And again, don't forget my offer. If you want to help with your Google Ads account, reach out to me in the link in the description just below. Also the first comment, either one of those would work. Hit me up through the website, I'll get in touch. And also stick around. If you're a Shopify store owner, I have something special for you for free. You can download that. And with that said, that's it for today's video. Bye for now.